Alright, so I'm back with more amnesia. And uh, I'm still stuck here in the prison. Alright, so I have to find a way around the um, bolted door. This is so intense. There's two or three monsters around here. Dark towers of Brandenburg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. <coughs> I cheated. I researched YouTube.
I hope uh, the game is not too dark to watch. Um, I know a lot of places are dark, and I checked uh, my frap settings to try to adjust the brightness, darkness. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I'm always trying to improve the videos, make them easier and funner to watch. of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep. But as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. finger on the fucking cap lock and not the shift key. Christ, where the 
fuck am I? Oh, did they put me back on the other side? Little pig, little pig, let me in. Quick crouching! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Damn, what the fuck? You're freaking me out. This is sanity. It's low. It's gotta be. Sorry about that, Mr. Dead Man. Not disrespecting the dead, please. Don't eat me. Oh, whiteness. That's right. Hey! Anybody! Help! Crap, I can't see. Christ! I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault! I didn't have to go in there. You don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. 
Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. All right, so there's one more letter to find. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Well, we found the third um, letter, and I am going to take a quick break, and I'll be back in the next
next video. Thanks for watching and please uh, leave a like and subscribe. A lot more videos to come.